Hey everyone, I'm Donna Amadon, your spiritual fitness coach. And today we're going to talk about pride and humility. And to do that, we're going to look at a fascinating parable that Jesus told in Luke 18. And what I love about this parable is that it begins with the author actually stating why Jesus told the parable. Let's look at it together. Luke 18, 9 says, Jesus also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. So from the beginning, we know Jesus is speaking to those who trusted in their own righteousness and then were looking down on other people. What's the parable? Jesus said a Pharisee and a tax collector went to pray. Now, from the start, those listening would have known that Jesus was talking about two very different types of people. There was the Pharisee. He was religious. He knew the law. He prayed and he fasted. And then there was the tax collector. He was the shady guy, the crook, the one everyone knew was a thief. Now, let's see what happens. In verse 11, it says, The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. Can you sense the Pharisee's pride and arrogance? He's not praying, he's bragging. Now, let's look at the tax collector. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift his eyes to heaven, but he beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Two men with two very different approaches to God. So, how did Jesus respond? Verse 14 says, I tell you, this man, the tax collector, went down to his house justified rather than the other. Now, I can just hear the collective gasp from everyone listening to Jesus teach this parable. Why? Because the tax collector, not the Pharisee, was justified. Do you see what's happening? The Pharisee thought his good works would impress God. He was trusting in himself and then looking down on others. As I read this, I see it not only as a parable about prayer, but it's a parable about our hearts, having a heart of humility before God. I think it's easy for us to look at all the immorality and all the sin in the world and think, wow, the world is getting so bad. But this parable tells me that our attitude doesn't need to be, well, they're so bad and I'm so good. It needs to be, God, be merciful to me. I am a sinner. Convicting, isn't it? So let this be your challenge. Ask yourself this question. Am I quick to point out the faults of others? and overlook my need for forgiveness. Remember, before God, we all need forgiveness. That's the beauty of the gospel. Not that we're perfect, but that we are loved and redeemed by a perfect God. Now go, walk in humility, and win today.